Are you looking to get the new staff multi-tool in No Man's Sky? I'm Controlled Chaos and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. Now there are a couple things you're going to need to do. First off, you're going to need to complete the first part of the autophage missions. It's going to give you two missions here, Prayer of the Machine and audience with the autophage you're gonna want to do audience with the autophage and go about that route and in order to do that you're gonna need some things added on to your multi-tool you're going to need the scan harmonizer and the philosophic core so once you've done that you use the philosophic core you need antimantium to fill it up and then you just click on it to activate it I've already done that and I got one right here. So I'm going to land there and get things rolling for us. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So I am going to collect and create the nanotube. I'm going to find a spot here. I can have all three pieces together. Okay, you need three of them. Create two more. There we go. Now there's the staff piece. So once you've created the staff piece, Give it a moment, your system a moment to recognize it. Looks like it already has. You just walk back up to this guy. Talk to him. I like that they have the little gun on their shoulders. And ask about the grip. And have them repeat it. Just leave. So there we go. We've done that one. Already created a grip though. There we go. Just took a moment to recognize it. So we've created the grip. Now we need to meet another. Of age. In order to do that, you need to actually go to another solar system. For each time you finish with one uh, missions on one camp, you need to go to another solar system and find them. So, you need to fuel first our launch jets. And so, all you do is just take off. And it does not matter what system you go to. You should be able to find them unless it says it cannot detect any. So, what I'm going to do is fly out here. Let's find another solar system nearby. And choose one at random here. Find one I haven't been to. We'll go to this one right here. Just selecting one at random. And going from there. So it's all you need to do is just do one quest for each of them. Oh, it looks like we may have dreadnought issues here. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit this. That. Okay, go to multi tool. That. Just going to boost away. Get away from the dreadnought. Okay, there we go. Signal has been found. Up over here. Let's head over there. Just to there. One thing I really do like, and if you're doing this and you're wanting to go away like I did, you can rebalance your ship's energy. Weapons, engines, shields. The best and or balance. Now, I like to have mine on engines for when I'm trying to get stuff done and run into Dread Knights or enemies. Because then when you hit your uh, boost, you get away really, really quickly. Just have that much more energy on your engines to be able to do that. So just like before, we're going to get close. Stop. Going to land. There we go. 
they each give different missions. Now, the first one, last time I did this, because I got in too much of a rush and interest in playing, I accidentally played through this part, so I had to jump on a secondary account to do this. I'm gonna hit scan. There we go. And now we just find the guy with. But I, I rushed through and ended up doing the mission without recording it. I was like, oh, but that's not what I wanted to do. So. That's how that ended up happening. So. I ended up using a second save and getting that done. And that, that's where we're going to get the chamber blueprint. We're going to start the mission. And so I'm going to escape. Let's see. We need to repair lost autophage. It's going to give us a location here. Over there. Here. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Take that away. And run over to our ship over here. If we try to walk over there, it's gonna take us 16 minutes from what it said. I don't want this to be a 20 minute, 30 minute video. So just fly over here. It's right there. We're going to go ahead and land. That's the other reason why I have it set to engines. It allows to get through a lot quicker. So what we're fixing is right over here. This head. We're going to click on that. Here. Oh. All right. That's what we need here. Antimatter housing and some sodium nitrate. So I'm going to get the antimatter housing and some sodium nitrate and we'll be right back. Okay, I got all done. So I'm going to interact with him. I got the antimatter housing done and the sodium nitrate. If he's all repaired, I'm going to give him some antimatter and done there. And now that that objective is completed, Back to your ship. Oop, hold on. Before I leave, I want my refiner. <laughs> I had to use the refiner to turn some sodium into the uh, sodium nitrate. So, he collapsed the refiner there. Take off. Going around like so. That's. Boost our way over there. Get over there a lot quicker. Not that far away. And the camp's still gonna it should still still show. If it doesn't, we can get to reshow. It's not a problem. Oh okay, here. And we'll hit C like we did last time. Make it show up. Talk to him again. And that in. Got all the parts to make this, which is good. Done that. Now we talk to him. About that. And what I really like is with the, this is you can make the part first and we'll catch up and notice that you've made it. Uh, they fixed that patch when I did the first time. I actually had to make two handles. <laughs> so that was rough. So we'll create that. There we go. So that's done. And then guess what we got to do again? We got to jump to another system. Because remember, each time it has to be a different system. We're going to just, oh, we have no launch fuel. We need to create launch fuel. And I need to get some hydrogen. Oh, oh wait, no. Actually, I can refuel because I have uranium. I'll use the uranium. Yeah, it says it doesn't have it. That's just because I just put it in there. I don't worry about that. 
fly out here. And once again, I'm going to hit X here. Here, I got a bunch of stars that we can choose from. We'll choose this one right here. And we'll fly to it. And we have one more piece to make. Just one more piece. And then we get to put it all together. And that's going to be really good. Get another dreadnought? <laughs> we got another dreadnought. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to boost away as we're boosting away. Get in here real quick. Multi tool. Get this the antimantium. Do that. Let's pull out of here. Give it a moment to find the. Uh, area. Okay. There we go. It is over here on this planet. This planet is what kind of planet? Ooh. Aggressive signals. This might be a bit tough. <laughs> hey. No. Sometimes you gotta fight your way to the goals you want. You know? It's, it's, it's a part of life. Why not? All right, so we got that done. That's down here. Almost there. It's getting really close. And land here. Like so. And if you want to know how I'm doing such a good job landing like this, all I'm doing is when I get close, I'm just hitting the back button. So the S key and then I'm hitting E. So I'm holding down the S key and I'm hitting E, which is allowing me to do that. Plus I'm also judging the timing on it. So we got these guys. So we talk to this one here. Talking. Open the chamber. The friendship. This one will give us the head. Do that. And now, here, we want this one right here. Nope. Oh, that's right. We need to salvage a starship. So it's going to give us the location of a starship to go salvage. So all we do. We just need to do our normal as you would when you find, you know, find a ship and salvage it. But the great thing is you don't have to hunt down the ship. They found it for you. You just need to scavenge it, get the parts and everything, and voila. So it's up there high, a good distance away. I don't want to wait a couple minutes. So I'm going to fly out into space, get out of the atmosphere. I'm actually literally in space. And then I'm going to hit the button. Gets me in there and be there in a few seconds. That's really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just since most of you know how to do the 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 deconstruct uh, uh, of ships, you know. Uh, and repair ships. I'm going to skip past this point and get back to the point where I will be back at the camp doing the turn in. Be right back. Okay, I am back, just landing back at the spot for the turn in. Scrapped the ship, got a million units worth of stuff, which is all that's needed. Once again, as I mentioned, they're not showing. Just hit C, everything will show up. So we will do that. We will turn that in. That's done. Now we find the other guy to talk to. So we talk to him. And ask about the, that. And we will leave. Okay, so there's that. Then. Go ahead. Ooh, not safe. <laughs> That's right, we're on an aggressive sentinel plant and there's a bunch of sentinels over there. But we'll do that. 
Now, I'm gonna go back over to here. Move this to here. And click here, and we want this. But you know what we don't have? We do not have a superconductor. Now, I'm gonna show you for those who don't know how to get superconductors, how that works. We're going to take off. We're going to go into space and you want to bring out the Nexus. So on the keyboard, it's X. Roll over to the sphere and there's the Nexus. You need to go into the Nexus here. We're going to land. Get this done. By the way, as I'm landing here, I want to let you guys know that the first mission that they always give is it's always craft something small like we did the first one. The second one is always a um, repair that robot head and the third one is always a scrap of that. But anyways, we're, you want to head up the ramps and then you want to turn and go down this long hallway. Okay, then we want to go ahead and interact with this console here. You don't want anything from here. You want to go over to here. And what we're looking for is this one right here. So we want to unlock this, which is going to cost you 82 nanites, 82 nanites, and 82 nanites. Now we have the semiconductor. So now we click here. Can't get that. Can't get that. So we need nitrogen. So I need to find nitrogen. Once I have the nitrogen, I will be back. Okay, so I got the superconductor created. Next, we just need to create the actual uh, transductor here. So I just created that. We should now have all three pieces. So I'm gonna move this actually over to the exosuit where the others are and go there. And now we just continue on with the quest. So go over here, go log, go to auto page. And there we go. So now all we need to do is hit the right key. <laughs> so in your multi-tool. And there is no off page signal in the area. So I'm going to warp to another area. And when I get there, I will be back once I found the auto phages. Okay, I have found an auto phage camp. I just landed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right here. I'm gonna hit C. Walk up to here. Interact with this. Go staff assembly. And I just take this piece put in there, this piece put in there, this piece put in there, and click assemble. And I got, oh, an A class, and it's red and black. Oh, this is so perfect. So, with that being said, I'm going to complete. Going to take it for free. And there is the staff. How cool does that look? Excellent. And that is how you make the staff. But to finish off the storyline, go and talk to him. And ask to feed. I really want to get this head that he has but make it black and gold, black, red, and gold. So there we go. We just finished off the whole entire staff and we now have a staff. I'm gonna be back to give a better look at this. Okay, I am back. I went to my settlement and I am under attack, but this came equipped with a really good weapon, a fast firing weapon. And I feel like I'm firing magic missiles. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a space wizard. How cool is this? Reload.
that one. And there is the end of the assault. That is epically cool. So, now that I've gotten that taken care of, I am gonna go and get into better lighting. Actually, this is really good lighting right here. I want better lighting, so I will be back in a few. Okay, I am back. As you can see, this staff looks excellent. I love how it stances. I love how it fires. I think the staff will be my new multi-tool just to add to the controlled chaos look. It's gonna be nice. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and have a great day.